jadi ini sekarang sudah mau masuk antriannya nggak terlalu panjang karena ini yang uh, reserve seat aku nggak dicek ya tiketnya siapa aja bisa dong masuk kita mau mempas orka guys kita bisa di tengah-tengah guys let's go Hai. Oke, okay, great. Thank you. Kita bakal duduk di depan. Hai, hello. Akhirnya guys kesampaian juga nonton Orca. Aku suka banget ya, emang, emang bocah ya. Dimana nonton Orca terus Dolphin. Tapi sayang tadi Dolphin gak bisa di record karena gak boleh. At least di sini kita bisa dapat spot yang bagus di center. Interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond.
This whale story is the ocean story, and it is one we all share. Welcome to SeaWorld's Orca Encounter. My name is Jules, and I'm so honored to introduce you to this intriguing and majestic animal. and learning about them and their natural behaviors. We hope today's orca encounter gives you a better understanding of these amazing animals and all that they represent. While they are found in every ocean, orcas living off the coast of Iceland are quite different than those near Costa Rica. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. some of their physical characteristics. Their blowhole is perfectly designed for catching a quick breath at the surface of the water. Even the location of their eyes works to their advantage. It looks like their eyes are located in the white patch, but that is a visual distraction. Their eyes are actually located in the black area just in front of the white patch, camouflaged from thrashing prey. The tall fin on the whale's back is called a dorsal fin, and that is used to stabilize the whales as they swim and help regulate their body temperature. Dorsal fins have no bone in them, which is why you can sometimes see them bend or curve. Unlike the pectoral flippers, which have five bony digits inside of them, just like the human hands. Pectoral flippers are mainly used for steering and stopping. The lobes on either side of the killer whale's tail are called tail flukes, and that is the killer whale's engine, propelling them close to 30 miles per hour, which is about as fast as some of our speedboats. But they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly bodies all the way up and out of the water.
Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pond. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Vocal development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales can use body language as a form of communication. Pectoral slaps can be used at the surface to show dominance and to get noticed. For example, a mother could use a peck slap to get the attention of her calf. But when they really want to be heard, they breathe. is a way for killer whales to coordinate and get a better view of their surroundings while they hunt. is another form of communication that killer whales can utilize both in the wild and here at SeaWorld. Impressive. 
in front of you, but you can't truly imagine the amount of water displaced until you've experienced it for yourself. Luckily enough for everyone today, we have a very brave volunteer who's going to experience the power of the killer whale tail. Joseph, are you ready? Okay, let's do this. Come on down, little guy. Okay, remember how we talked about your intestine right over there? That's right, give him a big round of applause, guys. Okay, you hold it on tight? You ready? Okay, hold on, you gotta put your brave face on. You got this, take a breath. Dia ketakutan mukanya. we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches Poor exhaustion. Part of everyday life for killer whales. It's how they teach their young whales to hunt and develop their skills as they grow. Killer whales spend tons of time showing their playful side both out in the wild and every day here at SeaWorld. Porpoising is when a killer whale swims fast to the surface, breaking out of the water briefly. You can see them doing this when catching a ride in the wake of a boat, or when surfing in an ocean wave. love to be touched and will often rub their bellies on rocks when they can. You just saw Makani demonstrating a similar behavior just like the whales in British Columbia. efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.